I'm Isabel from the Cognito Forms team, and in this video, I'll show you how to use Cognito Forms to automate your workflow. Workflow is a repeatable sequence of tasks that drive a business process from start to finish. All Cognito Forms users can automate a workflow sequence on a single form. And if your organization is on the team and enterprise plans, you can also create multi-form workflows using the Auto Create Entries feature. In this demonstration, I'll focus on automating a workflow sequence for a single form. But if you'd like to learn how to set up multi-form workflows, you can find a link to the tutorial in the description below. If you're new to setting up workflows, I recommend watching this tutorial first, as it covers the essential components. To get started, navigate to the form you'd like to use in your workflow. Open the Form menu and click Edit Form. Once you're on the Build page, open the Workflow tab. Here, you'll assemble your workflow using three key parts, actions, statuses, and roles. Action buttons always appear at the bottom of your form. A workflow action is a specific event that not only updates an entry, but can also trigger additional steps in your workflow. For example, when someone hits the submit button, that action could then display a confirmation message, send an email notification, or change the status of the entry. For organizations on the team and enterprise plans, actions can also create new entries on other forms or assign tasks to team members. The second essential component of workflow is its statuses. A status describes the state your entry is in. For example, when a new entry is submitted, the status automatically changes from incomplete to submitted. With the ability to add 20 total statuses, you can create custom complex workflows that accurately reflect your processes. Lastly, workflow roles let you control who can access your forms, what they can see, and when they can see it. You can add up to 20 different roles, but they will all fall into one of three categories, either public, internal, or other. The public role type is the default role for new form submissions. You can think of this role as the person who kicks off the workflow process by submitting a new entry. Only one role can be assigned as the public role. The internal role is the default type for new entry views, meaning this role represents the person who will be on the receiving end of an entry, only one role can be assigned as an internal type role. The other role type is available for any other individual that needs to be involved in the workflow after an entry has been submitted. For each role, you'll be able to assign conditional form visibility and allow for specific actions at specific times. To add a new role, click the Add Role button, name the role, and set it as either public, internal, or other. If you open the Share Specific Entries with drop-down menu, you can assign roles using information entered on the form. For example, you could use an email address entered on the form to automatically assign a role to the person associated with that email. Or if your organization is on the team or enterprise plan, you could use a person field to streamline the process of assigning roles. If you'd like more detailed information on how to create a person field, you can access the tutorial linked in the description below. Once your actions, statuses, and roles are in place, check to ensure that workflow link sharing is enabled. Workflow links are the glue that binds your entire workflow together. When an individual receives a workflow link, they're able to access role-based entry data and perform any available actions on the entry. That's all we're gonna cover in this video, but workflow features are most powerful when used in tandem with other tools. For example, you might want to create dedicated entry views so that your team members can log into Cognito Forms and track the progress of their entries. Or you may want to set task summaries for your team members so they can quickly identify and prioritize their workload. Whatever your goals may be, our user guides are packed with helpful resources to get you there. If you need any extra assistance, feel free to reach out to our team directly by submitting a support request.